Hello, today we're gonna to make the inception of foods, which are spring rolls, because it's essentially rice wrapped in more rice, doubling down. We're doubling down on rice. So with spring rolls, if you don't know the origin, the reason why we call them spring rolls is because this was a treat made during New Year and Lunar New Year. And during Lunar New Year, which happens around February, that was the signal for the start of spring, this beginning of life, beginning of the new year. So that's why we call it a spring roll. And today what I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you one of my favorites, which is a tofu, carrot, basil, green onion spring roll with a peanut sauce. And I'm going to show you this peanut lime sauce that I really, really like. This is my preference. You don't have to do it. And if you don't want tofu, you could put whatever protein you want in there. You could do whatever you want. You could just make rice noodles wrapped in rice paper for all I care. But you do you. I'm going to show you how I do it. And I hope you learn something new. All right. Let's get to work. All right, first let's talk about the ingredients that we're gonna need for this recipe. Rice paper, thin vermicelli rice noodles, some carrots, some basil, some green onion, peanut butter, soy sauce, sesame oil, one lime, and some salt. For the equipment, we don't need a lot. We just need a cutting board and a chef's knife, some small bowls and plates to hold our ingredients, some measuring spoons. Specifically, I'm gonna use a tablespoon and a fourth cup, a blender, a frying pan for the tofu, but if you want, you can also use an air fryer. A big bowl with a strainer. This perforated spring roll rolling plate, if you have it. This holder for rice paper. What you do is you can put in warm water on the compartments. You can take your rice paper, roll it in it, and this is how we keep it all together without getting wet too ahead of time. All right, we're gonna start off with the peanut sauce first because I want to put it into the spring roll. If we can make it enough of a viscosity to do it, we can do that, which I think is actually a much better user experience than dipping a spring roll into sauce where the sauce is just on the sides. So I like to use these single serving blenders. I think that they're much better. You don't have as much cleanup. You don't need such a big blender. We're going to use our peanut butter. I'd like you to grab your fourth cup measuring utensil and we're going to fill it up with a fourth, put it in our blender. Let's go for it. Now we have to find the right viscosity. So what we're going to do, we're going to balance the peanut butter with some boiling water. That's how we're going to dilute it out a little bit to make it softer. So first I'm going to put in my peanut butter, add a fourth cup of hot water. This is going to help us cut this a little bit, make it easier to dip. One tablespoon of soy sauce, one tablespoon of sesame oil, and we're gonna put about half a lime in this entire thing. And I like to do this little trick. I picked this up in Thailand. You put a knife here, be very careful. And when you squeeze, what happens is the lime juice trickles down the knife and into your container. All right, and then I'm gonna add a pinch of salt. I like to use coarse salt. All right, let's blend it. Yeah, citrus is good. Salt is good, peanut's good. All right, I'm good with this. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this in a little bowl because it's gonna make it easier to spread later. All right, we did it. We have our sauce. We're gonna put that to the side and now we're gonna get to work on the ingredients for the spring roll. So the first thing we actually wanna get started are our rice noodles. Now, you don't need to put this in a big pot of water and then boil that. We don't need to do that. We have a better hack just boil some water. We're gonna boil some water and we're gonna pour it over these noodles. We just need to give them a warm bath. They don't need to really boil. We're gonna have that go in there until it's submerged. Just give it a nice warm bath. Awesome. All right, while that's going, we're gonna cut our ingredients to get ready for the spring rolls. All right, the first one that I'm gonna handle is this fried tofu. I like this already fried tofu. It's from Phoenix. It's probably my favorite brand. And all I'm gonna do, and we're gonna make a claw method where I'm gonna tuck my knuckles in so that way I'm not chopping off fingers. And I'm just gonna cut it like this. I want about that thickness. That's what I'm looking for. I'm just gonna keep going. So I'm gonna keep going, curling my fingers in, making sure I'm nice and safe, beautiful. One, done. And there we go, we have our tofu cut. Now we have two options of how we can make it really crispy. We can either do one, the air fryer option, or two, we can fry it in a pan. I'm gonna show you both. Now the air fryer way is super simple. We are just going to lay down our tofu pieces. 
right here. This is the, the one if you just do not want to think and you just want to move on to the next piece. But I have this little parchment liner because I don't want to deal with cleanup later. I'm just gonna, we're gonna do half of these. I'm going to spray it with some neutral oil like a grapeseed oil. Cool, awesome. All right, we're gonna put it in right here. Let's do 350 for 15 minutes. All right, while the air fryer weight is going, we're gonna also do a pan fry too. I actually like this way more. It's a little bit more work, but I like it because I think the tofu is much more crispy and I like that texture. I'm gonna start by getting my pan hot. I'm using a non-stick skillet. I'm putting it on a seven on a electric stove, but if you have gas, you wanna put it on a medium high. That's what you want. And we're gonna let it get warm. We're gonna get it nice and ready before we start moving. Again, you're gonna want some type of neutral oil. I like to use grapeseed oil. You can use avocado oil. If you really want to, you can use canola oil, but that's what we're gonna get moving. You're gonna need it quite a bit because we're doing a pan fry. So you hear that? I don't hear the sizzle. That means my pan is actually not hot yet. Now we're moving. There we go. And I'm not trying to crowd my pan. I don't want to deal with that. Hey, if you get splashing, a bunch of splashing, just take your pan off the heat. Don't worry about it. You have to be in control. Good, looks good, looks good. Awesome, we got my tofu in. Moving around a smidge, beautiful, good. All right, I'm gonna let it sit. Hey, and if the, if the pan is ever too hot and you're like, man, I'm not in control, just take it off the heat. Not a big deal. You are the one in control. You need to be in control when you are dealing with heat. Okay, I'm turning away from me too. I want all these to be away. That's what I want. I like that color a lot. There we go. Looks good. Looking really good. Really, really good. All right, I think that's pretty good. Looks like the crispiness level I want. Yeah, perfect. We're going to move this to a wire rack. Hey, pro tip, we want to salt as it's hot. We want to salt as we go. We don't need to do it all the way at the end. We could do it as we go. And I'm just doing it because it's hot, so it's going to absorb it a little bit more. We have our our pan fried side here, our air fried side here. This is a little crispier, but you know, whatever. All right, first step down, we got our sauce down, we have our tofu down, we have our noodles down. Now we just gotta cut some vegetables and we are almost ready to go. All right, I'm gonna start with the carrots first. I'm gonna start with this purple one. I'm gonna lop off the ends real quickly. With a peeler, I'm just gonna go for it. Almost looks like beets, but I like the color. All right, now let's get ready to cut. So what we wanna do, we wanna make it consistent. We want these to be roughly the same size as we're gonna roll. So if I did two, I roughly want that size. That's what I'm, that's the length that I'm kind of looking for here to make it consistent. So I'm gonna lop this end off right here. Now let's get to work. So what we're gonna do, we don't wanna cut anything that's rolling. We want it to be flat. I'm gonna make this little cave motion and I'm gonna cut down this way so that I can get a foot, a plank on the bottom of this carrot. I'm gonna go right here, cool, and push down. And now what I have is I have this plank, this foot basically to put it down so it's not wobbling as much. We wanna do that. I'm gonna do the same length for my other carrot. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna julienne cut these. So how we're gonna do this is I'm gonna protect my fingers again. I'm going to hold the carrot down here and I'm going to cut the edge off first the edges, turn it, so I have a basically a rectangle. So I'm right here, and I'm going to pull back. Beautiful, I got one, let's do it again. I got two edges, now I can turn it because I just created a plank, another foot on the end of it, right? And now I can do the same thing, cut, awesome. Go ahead, pull back, cut that off, turn it sideways. Pull back, I want to make this into a rectangle right here. Very careful, I'm watching, holding my fingertips, watching my knife. I a little bit over there, great. Put that away, second one. I'm gonna just go over the carrot and I'm gonna pull back. I want these to be like, almost like little planks. Good, there we go, I could do this a little bit thinner. Awesome, there we go. I got my pieces there, looks good. And that's on the side right here. We're gonna do the same thing with every other one. And there we go, we have our carrots. 
Okay, next we have our green onion. Now what we want to do, we want to line everything up. So I'm putting all the ends together just to have them right there on the edges, beautiful. And I am again going to take a carrot that I know is about roughly the size of two tofu pieces. I want these to be the same. And now I know the length that I want the green onion to be. So I'm going to cut right here. We have our green onion, we have our carrots, we have our tofu. All right, let's get ready to roll. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to dump the water from our rice noodles. We're just going to keep the rice noodles and I'm going to fill up my container right here with warm water on the edge because I'm going to dip it in there. Hey, if you don't have this thing, you could use a bowl. No big deal. And you could probably find this piece of equipment and this piece of equipment at an Asian grocery store. I just call it a store. And you just want to fill up this part with warm water because we're going to use that for the spring rolls. All right, mise en place. Look, we have all our ingredients ready to go. I have my rice paper with the water on the side. I have my rice noodles. I have my peanut sauce that we made, my carrots, my green onion, some basil if you want to put that in, and we have our tofu. Now that we have everything ready, we can begin. All right, let me show you how this works. We're going to take some rice paper, roll it in our hot water bath over here. You can use your fingers to make sure the edges in the middle are wet. And like I kind of said before, once the rice paper gets wet, timer starts. Okay, so I'm going to show you a little trick that I like to. I said before that I kind of get annoyed by dunking spring rolls into sauce because the sauce just gets on the side and I want to really taste that sauce. So we are going to start off by using our peanut sauce that we made. And this is why I wanted a little bit more of a viscous sauce because I want to be able to put it in the spring roll. If we just dunk it in something like a soy sauce, it's too liquidy. The flavor is all on the outside. We're being innovative. All right, feather it out a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna take some rice noodles, put it down here. Rice wrapped in rice. All right, put my tofu down again. Great, I'm gonna take some of these Beautiful carrots, some green onion. I like that bite of the green onion. Take some basil. I like it. Do that way. So the, I like to do this method where I'm going to take this middle, put it right there, take this edge, put it right in the middle, have that little glue help us out. Little roll, awesome. Sideways, this is like the burrito method. Tap that side in. Cool, tap that side in. And now we pull and roll slightly. And we got this way. Oh, look at that. That looks great. We have our peanut sauce tofu. I could see the green onion, the carrots in it. Looks great. I'm going to put it on a presentation plate. There we go. We made spring rolls. And if you can see, the lesson here is we have to get everything ready before we actually started putting all our ingredients together. We had to make our sauce. We had to get the noodles going. We had to get the tofu going. We had to prep our ingredients. And once everything was ready, then we were able to go. It would be terrible if we had to wet the rice paper first and then start to prep everything else. We don't want that to happen. I love having the sauce in the spring roll because that way you get it in every single bite. That crunch from the tofu plus the hit from the green onion plus the lime and the peanut from the sauce plus the basil. Fantastic balance of flavor. Fantastic. So happy. Hey, go ahead and make whatever spring rolls you want. Put whatever you want in it. Make a beef wellington spring roll. Just, just go for it. Have fun with it. Surprisingly, these are vegan. So if you've got some vegan friends, you can make this for them. If you don't have vegan friends, you can make this for them and make some new vegan friends. All right. Great job. And let me know what you make. Bye.